Level Limit Break has changed the game. Not to mention that it's changed the game, but this metal exchange is cracked. Cracked. Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stump back for another OPTC video, and we should do a really quick rundown video today of the new metal shop that is coming next month. It's coming in about a day's time, and with this particular metal shop, like, look at it. It's absolutely wild, but with the new release of Level Limit Break, for, like, whales and people that already had, like, all the legends of the game, these metal shops have become very, very valuable to get some dupes into the characters that you already have, to actually start level limit breaking them. Then from notable characters that I can see here, it's V1 Shanks, V1 Ace, V1 Zoro, V1 Mihawk. All of these characters, they don't pop up on banners very frequently. And you don't really have too many dupes of them sort of sitting around. Unless you've been stockpiling them for a very long time. Or you did foresee something like this coming. And even though, like, I don't like to sell Legends myself... I don't have a lot of dupes of something like V1 Ace. I haven't pulled that unit in so damn long because there are so many legends in the entire game. Before you pick up any of these characters, I would highly recommend waiting until your tickets actually come through. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the Metal Shop, talk about level limit, uh, level limit Break, as well as see what characters I think are worth picking up. Now, in the shop right now, you can pick up Buggy. Now, if you're a complete whale and you have, like, tokens to spare, I would pick up the three copies of Buggy. Like, no no, no ifs, no buts, no coconuts. Buggy's level limit break is very, very good, um, and he's going to see a lot of play moving forward because he does dupe, like, drops. Very, very strong level limit break. So I would definitely pick him up before the shop goes away in, like, a day's time. So make sure to do that. Looking down at the 100 medals, these are all collection purposes. Like, you don't need any of these characters. I don't think I've ever used any of these characters, but if you want them for your box, like, for me, if I didn't have that Shanks, I'd pick up the Shanks just because, like, I like it's collection purposes. But, nevertheless, like, they're there. They're just anniversary characters. Next, we've got the other anniversary rare recruits. We've got the Reiju, the Shirohoshi, and the um, Rebecca that came out alongside the Onigashima Trio. And then you've got the Chopper, and you've got the Nami that came out alongside the Super Types, which were Sabo and Luffy, as well as Blackbeard and Katakuri. These characters are all very, very good. If you don't have these characters, I would definitely look at picking up at least one copy of them. Very, very nice. I mean, if you want to pick up some for level limit break, you can. But I, I don't think I would recommend it because, like, 120 medals is quite is quite expensive. If they were 100, maybe. But, like, obviously, like, these characters will be on the anniversary banners too. So you can probably pick them up there like they were uh, last year and the year before that, obviously. 150 medals. Let's take a quick look here. Brook. If you don't have Brook, maybe pick up a copy. But I would highly recommend just steering away from him. He's got a pretty good super evolution, but other than that, it's not great. Shiki, when are they giving the when are they giving the movie legends six bosses? Let's be real. Like, if they do, they could make them absolutely cooked, but they haven't, so I would just skip Shiki. Like, don't worry about him. V1 Nami, super out daddy. Don't need V1 Nami. Judge, pretty mid. V1 Boa is pretty mid. Usopp kind of sucks, but then the last four, super interesting, right? V1 Zoro, V1 Mihawk, V1 Ace, and V1 Shanks. Now, out of the four. Three of them have their level limit break expansion, and they are all very, very good. Shanks has actually got a very decent special now for Psy characters. Two turns of like a 2.25 times attack, carrying into a 2.5. He is basically essential for the Grand Voyage Fusha Village fight. Um, so like, if you only need a couple copies to finish him out, then definitely look at picking him up. But again, I would wait until after the tickets release on May 8th or whenever that happens. Whenever those tickets come out, that's, that's when I would look at this, because this shop will be around for a month. So just be mindful of that. V1 Ace, he's got a very, very good level limit break expansion. He, he, level limit break expansion. He actually gives burn now, which is very, very strong. So I would look at picking him up. V1 Mihawk hasn't popped up very often. I, I might pick up a couple of copies of them. And then V1 Zoro for his level limit break as well. Very, very powerful character. So very interesting that they have put them here on the 150 tokens. But if you um if you want to level limit break them, they are available for you, uh, big old quails and orcas out there. 250 medals. Obviously, you can buy three of these as well. This is the reason they brought in the limit cap was because of level limit break because if you could just buy a whole bunch of them, you could just keep summoning to your heart's content and it'll kind of break the economy of the game. 250 medals, you have V3, Rayleigh, Komarasaki, Bullet, Sabo Koala, Luffy, and Law, and V2, Katakuri. All these characters aren't really worth picking up, to be honest. Maybe Sabo Koala, if you don't have Sabo Koala. 250 medals for Sabo Koala is not terrible, but even still, I couldn't tell you the last time I used Sabo Koala. Like, it is what it is. For 400 medals, limit of one per copy, you have Vivi, King, Queen, Big Mom vs. Kaido, 
Kid and V2 Blackbeard. Honestly, none of these characters are like essential pickups. For 400 medals, like you can go out, like you can go without all of these characters, to be honest. Maybe Big Mom versus Kaido, because like verse units have that value of just pick, picking up two units at once. Vivi, don't get me wrong, very phenomenal unit. King, phenomenal unit. Queen, phenomenal unit. I don't think Vivi's the best in that sort of range up the top there. But like, do you need Vivi? No. For 400 tokens? No. So, with level I uh, level limit break too, I reckon picking up like three copies of Shanks is way more valuable than picking up one copy of Vivi. Vivi's going to be on more ban banners. Vivi's going to be um, more attainable because she's a newer legend. And Shanks is just non-existent anymore because the unit is so odd unless you're pulling on like those bait banners, right? But it is what it is. So, that's the um, new metal shop. In a nutshell, nice and quick one for you guys. Like I said, Buggy's available in the shop right now. You do have like less than a day, so make sure to go grab him if you guys have the tokens. But if you do enjoy the video, make sure to go there and bell the like button for me if you're new to the channel. Hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, if you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Let's.